Number 1. You can't stop thinking about them. Although it's very normal and common to keep thinking about a person that we are attracted to, however, if you notice that you keep being attracted to this person and can't stop thinking about them, it's a sign that it's God that has put them in your heart, especially if you feel at peace with this decision a lot. Number 2. They are spiritually sound. If it's God who has put someone in your heart, he would make sure that such a person is doing his will. A litmus test to determine if this person was put in your heart by God is to check their life and fellowship with God. If you notice that they're grown and they have the fruits of the Spirit and the godly qualities you wish for, then they most likely were put in your heart by God. God will only put such persons in your heart. A person that shows forth the fruits of the Spirit recorded in Galatians chapter 5 verses 22 to 23. You would see them in their committed service towards God. You may notice that this person has many of the major, especially godly qualities that you've been praying for. If this partner has Christ-like characters, then it's a sign that it's God that put them in your heart. Furthermore, you'd notice that the person is someone who can help you to become spiritually mature. When God puts someone in your heart, you will notice that the person is someone that can draw you to a closer fellowship and service towards God. The person is someone who doesn't cause you to compromise your relationship with God, but rather strengthens it. The one that God puts in your heart will have similar desires to serve God with you. The person will encourage you to pursue Christ. Their lifestyle and morals push you to Christ. God will not put in your heart someone whose lifestyle or decisions will distract you from Him or the Kingdom's activities. God's plan is for your relationship will be one that shows Christ's love towards the church. So if this person is mature and can help you in your growth, service, and walk with God, then it's a sign that God has placed them in your heart. If you're into the work of ministry, God will most likely want you to be with someone who's also in the work of ministry. That way both of you can help each other out. If you notice that your work in ministry complements, then it's a sign that it's God who has put this person in your heart. As a believer, it's easy for you if your life partner is someone who believes in the faith that you believe in. If your intending life partner attends the same ministry as you, then this is a good sign. It's even better if perhaps you're involved in the work of the ministry and your partner is also involved in the work of the ministry as you are. This is a sign that it's God who has made them cross your paths and put them in your heart. It may not be the same place or post in ministry assignment, but if they're involved in serving God diligently, it's a good sign that God placed them in your heart. Number 3. There's a peace you feel within you. If it's God who placed someone in your heart, you would not be feeling anxious, scared, or frustrated about the matter. Rather, there's a kind of peace your heart would experience. When you ask God and pray to Him about this person, you would get positive answers and your heart would feel at rest. Perhaps this is the most certain sign. Because when you ask and God answers you positively and you feel peace and rest within you, then you can be sure that it's God who placed the person in your heart. Number 4. God will also place you in this person's heart, such that this person would like you and want you. If it's God that puts someone in your heart, He would also stir up the person's heart towards noticing you. God wouldn't want you to enforce yourself on someone. So if you've been noticing that the person seems interested in you, it's a sign that it's God who has put them in your heart. 
They are interested in you, and they show it and make themselves clear on what they want. A person that God wants you to be with will like you. God can't impose a person to be with you if they don't like you. If his person seems to like you and they show it one way or the other, then it's the real thing. God doesn't want you to be stuck somewhere without love. If a person likes you, they would either say it, show it, or do both. If they like you and you also like them, it's a good sign that God is the one who put them in your heart. If a person is in your heart and over time they still don't notice you or like you, it's best to let go of such desire. This person will know what they want from you and they will imply it many times to you. Someone that God placed in your heart for you will want to be with you. They will make an effort to plan a date with you and free their busy schedule so they can spend time with you. This person would be able to think and tell you certain things they think could happen between you two. God won't place someone who's still confused about what they want into your heart. The person that God puts in your heart will know the type of commitment they want from you. They won't be afraid that they may find someone better than you and so are scared of committing to you alone. If a person is in your life and wants only you, then God is the one who has put them in your heart and made you consider them for a relationship. Number 5. If God puts someone in your heart, you will notice that they meet the biblical requirements for love and marriage. If God wants you to be with someone, then you would notice that they fulfill the basic requirements for marriage. You may notice that they are loving, kind, gentle, patient, honest, and many of the other characteristics described as love in the Bible. God's Word reveals to us who or who we cannot be with. You know that you can be with someone who believes in God and is dedicated to Him. If the person meets these requirements, then it's God who wants you to be with them, and so He has put them in your heart. Number 6. If it's God that put a person in your heart, then God would make the relationship possible for you both in many ways. When God wants you to be with someone, He would make ways for the relationship to happen. So if you've recently started thinking a lot about someone or liking them, and they recently have to move to another location, if God wants them as your spouse, He would make paths for you both to still maintain your relationship. This could be that he would make ways for you to have a job where the person is moving to so that you can progress in a relationship. He could also give you both wisdom on how to handle a long distance relationship. You may notice that this person seems to be in your path a whole lot. It's one thing to meet someone just once or twice but a different experience to keep meeting them over some time. A sign that shows you that God puts someone in your heart is that both of you run into each other over and over again. It's as though they're everywhere that you go. You'll notice that they are in your path lately and you will see them frequently. The fact that you both are seeing each other frequently is God's way of matchmaking you. He has brought this person your way so that you will be drawn to them. You notice you are being put in the same place later. God may even constantly lead you to the same place where the person is or you may notice that somehow you both end up in the same place over and over again. This is His way of drawing your heart towards the person so that you can notice them. The two of you will have the opportunity of spending time together. Not only are you in the same place as lately, but you would also be seeing each other frequently and be getting opportunities to be together. Number 7. This person always seeks growth. Someone that God has placed in your heart would be someone who puts in time and energy to make their lives better. 
If God has put someone in your heart, then you will notice that this person puts in time and energy to make sure that they get better in life, career, and their relationship with God. You would also notice that they can put in time and energy into making the things they do better over time. If this person does these, then they have been put in your heart by God. Remember that God wants you to be with someone who would make your life better and help you grow. If this person is not growing already, then they can't help you fulfill God's desire for your life.